Coming up this week, my five favourite things for February. Hey everybody, it's Harry Kalimnios here from thethoughtgym.com, here helping you become the superhuman leader I know you can be. Giving you the tips, the tools, the techniques, the ideas, the items and the inspiration designed to make you live that superhuman life. This week I want to share with you five things that I use that may also benefit you in some small or maybe even large way. So let's get cracking. Okay, first up we have got these. What are these things? These are my speakers. They are called sound chucks. Uh, they're a bit like nunchucks, you know, kind of all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and they are magnetic, as you maybe can hear and see, which means they can stick to things, which is really quite cool. Uh, they operate via Bluetooth, and once you're connected to your phone, you can literally, let's just uh, press play here. Okay, so that's a bit of my Michael Jackson fetish going on there. Um, but what I love about these is not only that they are uh, Bluetooth speakers, they charge reasonably all right, they hold their charge pretty well, um, but they've also got like a little microphone in here. So sometimes what I do is I just hook this around like this as I'm doing my dishes, whatever it, and if a call comes through, I can take the call. I know it looks a bit funny, um, but I kind of like this rather than having headphones sometimes. Um, it can be a lot more convenient. I would say I'm not the biggest fan of having Bluetooth really close to the body, so I'm not always listening to it like this, but um, certainly I find these things immensely useful. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description below. You can find out where to source some for yourself. They're around about 100 pounds. Um, I'm not sure what they are in dollars, um, but definitely worth a look. Okay, number two, we have got this. This is some magnesium spray. Uh, this is a spray that I use typically every night, um, unless for some bizarre reason I forget, but it's right by my bed. And the reason that I use that is really for a couple of main reasons. One, magnesium is such an important um, ingredient for your body, if you like, um, and most of us don't get enough magnesium in our system, and it is responsible for over 300 biochemical reactions in our body, including fundamentally involved in the process of producing ATP, which is really your energy powerhouse for your cells. Uh, almost the entire population is depleted in magnesium. It's getting increasingly harder to get it in through the diet, uh, but it is in things like pumpkin seeds uh, and a few other things like that, which I do have, but having it topically, i.e. on the skin, is the most effective way to get it in. It will also aid with your sleep and it will also aid with your muscle relaxing as well. So if you've done something particularly hard, just spray it, three or four or five sprays. Uh, it might tingle for the first few weeks, uh, which is just a sign that you're depleted in magnesium. Uh, but after that, it gets a lot better and you don't get that tingling sensation anymore. So number two, definitely have a look at magnesium. I think everyone should be supplementing their diet, their normal routine with magnesium. Next up, we've got this. This is a foam roller, although it's a pretty kind of tough foam roller. Um, and uh, it can really get into, into the kind of places that maybe the other ones can't. Uh, you can see it's a bit hollow there. You can see me through there. Um, very convenient, in fact, to travel with. Um, but what I do is I tend to lie on it on the, on the back and just almost like a, a rolling pin, effectively. And it's just squeezing out, creating a bit more space along the spine. Uh, you can also do it on the, on the thighs. You can do it on the, on the calves. And it's just like literally, imagine that rolling pin rolling the kind of dough and just making it a bit longer and giving it a bit more length. That's what it's doing to your muscles. It's really great. It can be quite painful, especially if you've, uh, you've been working out quite a lot, but uh, definitely worth investing in just to free up a bit more space in the, uh, in the body, really. Uh, number four, in fact, is this little thing. So I'll just take it off, which you are probably massively familiar with already. You may even have something like this. You can see it there. It's just a Fitbit or a tracker. Uh, I don't normally wear it that often, I must admit, um, for the reason that I'm not convinced that having something emitting Bluetooth on me all the time is a good idea. Um, I'll probably do another video about EMFs and everything at another time, but, but, um, but what I find it useful for is maybe one week in say four or five or six, just to kind of track my sleep, track my paces so that you get a gauge for where you are. And then doing that every few uh, weeks or every couple of months, just so you know you're on track, I don't think it's gonna be a big problem. 
Wearing it 24-7, uh, I personally am not convinced it's a good idea. It's the same with the Apple Watch and anything else emitting uh, low-level uh, electromagnetic frequencies. I'm not convinced that having that on your body is, uh, is a good thing. But I do think it is a great thing to do as a gauge to understand where you are and then you can keep tracking it over time. Um, not very expensive these things, you can get jaw bones, you can get all kinds of other things and it's a really good way for you to get your step count up. I recommend at least 12,000 steps a day, not including normal exercise. I know that sounds like a lot, but in fact it's not actually that much. I just went for a walk around my park now and that adds five, six, sometimes uh, a bit more, 7,000 steps. Um, and it's, you know, that's a 40 minute walk, maybe up to an hour. Um, which you could do on your way to and from work, you know, so just incorporating a bit more movement into your day rather than isolating that hour to do that spin class or that jog or whatever it might be. You want that throughout the day and I think that really comes from getting uh, that aim of 12,000 steps a day excluding your normal exercise if possible. If not, then, you know, you're still exercising, it's still good. Okay, and finally, number five, it's another app and it is called Flux, F dot L-U-X. And it's something that I use on my laptop all the time. It just runs in the background. And what's really clever about this is it in fact adjusts your screen brightness, removing the blue light from it late at night. Depending on where you are in the world uh, and when you get up, it will adjust the light so that you don't get that harsh blue light, which in fact prevents the release of melatonin, which is amongst other things, your sleep hormone, uh, by quite a significant amount. So if you're on the laptop late at night, which I don't really recommend anyway, but sometimes we are there, you know, myself included, when we're you know, past nine, 10 o'clock at night and you're on the laptop, but really it will start from about six, depending on when your sunset is, and uh, it really helps. And when you turn it off, because sometimes I have to turn it off when I'm editing these videos so I can see the color properly, uh, my gosh, do you notice it? It's so bright. Um, that I'm so surprised that people are using things like iPads and phones and everything else uh, in this way and not having that kind of protection and suffering with their sleep. It's no wonder. So definitely check out Flux. I think if you go to justgetflux.com, I'll put a link in the description box below uh, of the exact place you need to go to get that. It works on, uh, on laptops. I think for iPads, um, I'm not sure what you need to do on that, unfortunately, I think they're going to integrate that into the next generation. If you've got an Android phone, the equivalent to Flux is something called Twilight, uh, which again I use on my phone and it's similar principle, definitely worth getting it. So Twilight and Flux, check them out, put them onto your laptops, your phones, uh, if you're happy to jailbreak your iPhone, if you know what that means. Um, and void your warranty, then you can also get Flux on there, but otherwise it's not a, an affiliated app, so you probably can't get it on. Uh, but there are probably other options out there. Okay, so that is it for this week. Those were my five favorite things for February that you can look into. Until next time, remember to subscribe, share this video, and remember to do what you can to think, feel, and be superhuman. Bye-bye.